Welcome back to the book of Exodus, Word Exodus. Today, verses 14 and 15. Let's read. Now this day will be a memorial to you, and you shall celebrate it as a feast to the Lord. Throughout your generations, you are to celebrate it as a permanent ordinance. Seven days you shall eat unleavened bread, but on the first day you shall remove leaven from your houses. For whoever eats anything leavened from the first day until the seventh day, that person shall be cut off. From Israel. So the departure from Egypt is imminent. Uh, now the sacrifice will be slain. So the Hebrews will slay the sacrifice and prepare to eat it on the night there of the 14th, going from transitioning from 14 into 15. And this slain offering is called Pesach. We call it the Passover. Everybody will have removed all the leaven from their homes for this meal. The bread that's eaten will be unleavened. And in fact, most of what we'll talk about the next couple of days is the the Feast of the Matzot. We call it Matzot, the unleavened bread. I've, actually, I've got here, I've got some uh, matzah from Israel imported here, and here it is. It's just wheat, uh, just like a big giant wheat saltine cracker, but no weird chemicals. In fact, if you read the ingredients here, I'll give you the whole list here. How long do you want to take? There's the list. Whole wheat flour and water. Contains wheat. <laughs> so. This stuff is so simple, surely it'll bring out the FDA. But it's just uh, it's just like a, a cracker consistency. Then it's just wheat and water. It's prepared in a very careful way. And why is it prepared without leaven? Well, the leaven is is about that's about haste. Uh, the we often think about it in terms of sin because the New Testament uh, seems to make that connection. But when we read it here in Exodus, it seems to be mostly about haste. You don't have time to get the uh, yeast so the bread will rise and all that. You've got to be ready to go when God commands it. And so I think the emphasis here really is more on haste. This stuff has to, there's no leaven involved because you've got to be ready to get your stuff in and boom, go out there when God says go. So it's prepared in haste because God is going to deliver them. They're going to be fleeing Egypt. So starting on the morning of the 15th day, you have this continuing multi-day feast of the unleavened bread, the matzot. And another thing about that no leaven thing is that all the, the leaven that's been in your house, it's, it's all removed. Remember, this is a brand, brand new thing, right? This is the starting of the Hebrew year. It's all going to be based here out of this deliverance from Egypt. So getting rid of the leaven is kind of a, a setting, settling everything into a brand new situation. It's a new start, and the people are told to throw this out symbolically. That helps them remember this is a time, it's time for a new start. So nothing that's leavened is to be eaten and all week long, you know, not eating that for a week, that would help kind of impress this into your mind. It would help you remember that annual, annual observance, this day of deliverance. God's plan here is to fix into everybody's memory this event as the beginning. This is kind of a Genesis 1 kind of a thing going on. This is the, the reestablishment of God's people. This is kind of a creation event, if you will. I mean, when you compare the law given in Exodus 20 and in Deuteronomy 5 and 6 and over there, when it comes to the Sabbath commandment, creation is emphasized in one and deliverance from Egypt is actually also mentioned in the Deuteronomy one. So yeah, there is sort of a, a connection here between creation and recreation or, or deliverance. So there is interesting pieces in here. Let's carry on tomorrow morning and see some more.